Tony Longhurst, the flying Queenslander in the Castrol Ford. Just turns it in on the pitch straight, gets the wheels up on the curb, slides towards the curb on the other side as he heads out on his hot lap. And his season has really turned around. His new car debuted by Longhurst earlier this year in the Shell Series. 42-year-old now, he's changed tyre brands, very much committed to winning this motor race. Not only has he changed tyre brands, changed teammates again for the 1,000km Enduro. Last year it was fellow Queenslander Charlie O'Brien team with another Queenslander this year in Jeff Brabham. It's a pretty uh, formidable combination. Look at Longhurst really forcing the Falcon up the mountain pretty hard. Oh. Rides the curve very wide. I thought Barguana went wide. That was much wider. This man is an absolute acrobat. He's one of the most spectacular drivers to watch in action, particularly on these hot laps. 42-year-old, he grew up in Sydney, now lives up on the Gold Coast, as many of the four teams are. And don't forget last year, these guys, after an engine failure in qualifying, came from last to lead the race, but well, they had a broken throttle cable and that dropped them out of the event. Tony Longhurst is backing himself in this race. He can't believe how he's not getting the support from the press. He's just going to have to go out there and prove it. Well, speaking of backing himself, Mark, a couple of days ago, about three or four days ago, the odds on Longhurst to win this race were at 25 oh. to 1 as he gets a little loose. Longhurst said, I'll take those odds, and he put 500 bucks on himself. The odds have now dropped to 8 to 1 for Tony Longhurst, so he's uh, plenty confident in his own ability, the ability of the team and the car. Longhurst down through Forest Elbow, it's very quick too, he's only three tenths of a second slower than Mark Scape at the split across the top of the mountain, let's see if this Ford can haul the mail in a straight line, Bow seat, building the engines for the Castrol Ford team, and Longhurst with his head down, building up to 300 kilometres an hour as he aims it toward Caltex Chase. 2.09.89 is the quickest time today. An unbelievable time set by the Mobile One HRT pilot of Mark Scaife. Oh, Longhurst, really smooth through the Caltex chase. The run under the bridge, down to Murray's. He is almost there, 2.03, 2.04, the clock's out. He's got a bit of time up his sleeve. Let's see what Tony Longhurst can do. He's up there, close it's going to be. 2.10.44. Oh. Good one, Tom. Great lap. Second quicker than yesterday, but still not quite quick enough. What time did Scaife you do? Uh, two nine eight, and you did two ten four, I think it was. Oh uh, well, that's two seconds quicker than I've ever done around here in uh, official qualifying. So I'm just absolutely wrapped. You know, the car's sensational. The Dunlop tyres are working good. Uh, <laughs> now we've got six and a half hours to go. This is going to be a tough old race. Have you got a nice strong throttle cable this year? Certainly have, Barry. <laughs> no worries there. Great lap, Tom. Thanks, guys.